Hi creatives, Shannon here from the Pigeon Letters Design Team and today we're going to be painting two super vibrant tie-dye inspired backgrounds using watercolors. The supplies that you will need are watercolor paper, watercolors of your choice, at least two paint brushes. One can be a round brush and one can be a flat brush. You'll also need masking tape, tissue, and some water. So the first pattern that we're going to paint is a monochromatic stripe pattern. So the first thing you're going to do is use the tape of your choice to tape the borders of the paper onto your desk. Then you're going to use a very large paintbrush to wet the paper using clean water. Once the background is completely wet, it is time to add your paint. So I'm just using a large round brush to draw in my stripes of color. I'm going to be painting three stripes, but you can paint as many as you want, leaving some white space in between them. You'll need to work very quickly on this background as well as the next one in order to make sure that the paper doesn't dry. If your paper starts to dry, this will cause the paint to dry with very harsh lines rather than with the feathered look that we're going for. Then use only the tip of the paintbrush to pull some of that color into the white areas of the paper. If needed, you can clean your brush and add a little bit of water to lift some of that paint that you've added. Next, you're going to use a darker shade of your color to add just a few short lines and dots in the center of the stripes. Depending on how saturated you want the colors to look, you can repeat this step. After you finish adding the color, it is time to allow the paint to dry completely and then you can remove the tape. The next tie-dye pattern that we're going to paint is a rainbow spiral. So you're going to do very similar to how you started for the previous pattern. Tape the edges of the paper and wet the paper evenly. Starting with yellow, you're going to paint a simple spiral starting from the center of the paper. Don't worry if the line is not smooth or even all around. The beauty about these tie-dye patterns is that they don't need to be perfect. Then after you're finished painting the spiral, you can use the tip of the paintbrush to pull some of that color away from that spiral and into the white space around it. Then you're going to use the body of your paintbrush to add green to the inner edge of the spiral and then you're going to clean that brush and add red to the outer edge of the spiral. Now 
like I mentioned before, you're going to need to work relatively quickly to ensure that the paper doesn't dry. Once you've added those colors, you can then use the tip of the brush to pull both of those colors into the yellow at certain spots. But you want the yellow to still be visible, so try not to pull too much color into it. And next you're going to add the purple next to the red. A fun penny that can also help this to look more like tie-dye is to lift up some colors. So to do that, you're going to simply clean your paintbrush and then use it to lift some paint. Then you're going to add blue next to the purple and it should also be in between the green and the purple at the center of the spiral. To darken any of the colors, just simply use a darker shade and add it to the center of the spiral of that color and draw in your dots or lines similar to how you did for the first background.
and that's it now we have two super fun tie-dye backgrounds that you can use for lettering or you can leave them as is i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you next time